Well guys, this is how we rig up a flathead catfish rod. It's not the only way to do it, but this is the way I found most successful in the years I've been flathead fishing. First thing you want to figure out is how long you want to make your leader. And when I make leaders for flathead catfish, I use the same as my main line. I'm fishing a lot of wood. I'm not fishing cement. I'm not fishing rocks. I'm fishing mostly just clean bottom or wood. With that said, I use the same main line as I do for my leader. I just cut about a foot and a half off so I have some, some room to, to tie. I usually make my leader about 12 inches on average probably. The closer I am fishing to wood or really heavy structure, I'm cinching my drag tighter and I'm making my leash shorter for the flathead. So I'm making a shorter leader. I call it shorten the leash up so they don't have room to swim around and get stuck in all the trees that you're fishing. For your main line, the first thing you want to do is put on your weight or your sinker slide, which is what I use. I take my weights off in between fishing or depending on the spot, I can change weights super fast. So what I do is put on the weight or put on the sinker slide right there. That's my main line up to the tip of my rod. I take a rubber bead, rubber or plastic bead. Doesn't matter which one. Put that in the hole. And then what you do from here is you tie your swivel on here and then you take your leader line and tie your leader line between your swivel and then your hooks on the other end. And I'll show you that here in just a second. And when I tie my knots on my on my braided line, I'm always using the, the trilene knot, which is two through eight times and then through both loops on the bottom. Um, the simple fisherman knot is not a great knot. There's a lot better knots. There's the polymer, the trilene. There's a whole bunch of really good knots, but I use two through, so it makes two loops on the bottom, go through twice. And then when you tighten it, you have two two lines through your main line. I bring this to this, I wrap it around eight times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you go through both loops just like that, and you grab the tag end, and before you cinch it, you always want to wet your knot. If you do not wet your knot, especially with mono, fluorocarbon, or even braid, if you don't wet it, it will actually... Um, deteriorate the strength of the line at the knot because there's so much friction it'll actually heat up the line and make it weak so you want to make sure you do that and then you got yourself twice through never fail knot right there it is not the same knot i use for blue cats with heavy mono i either snell that uh typically to my hook and i but i do use this I can't figure out how to zoom out. <laughs> and the last thing I do, I do the same trilene knot on the hook with the braid. Wet it. And I cinch it down. Just like that. And she's ready for giant flathead catfish once I cut the tag off. Which you could leave because it really doesn't matter. But it's ready to go. Super simple. Carolina rig, flattered cat.